Reebok is definitely in the house. Welcome to Boktober. <laughs> Thanks for being here. It is Boktober and all you Bok boys and Bok girls rejoice. And uh, everybody should rejoice for a good reason. Reebok's been releasing great stuff as of late. They've been retroing the good stuff. And uh, one of those retros would be the sneaker that we're gonna unbox and review in this episode, okay? So what we have here is the Reebok. Pardon the lovebirds. Shut up, birds. This is the Reebok Interval 96, a retro sneaker, obviously, from 1996. Oh man, nice and clean. It screams 90s, my friends. How old were you in 1996? Don't ask me. Let's bring out the pair over here and put the box aside. That's a nice retro box as well, would you think? So this thing screams Vector. So Vector would be that Reebok logo, all right? Because you have the other Reebok logo, which is the Delta logo, that triangle. This is the Vector logo on the side panels, lateral and medial sides of the sneaker. And they're molded, which means they are, uh, it's a protruded Vector. They really pop. Aside from uh, uh, the shape that pops, the color makes it pop as well. You have red and blue on top of a white base, right? That's good quality leather, man. I'm all over the place, pardon me, but I'm so pleasantly surprised with this pair. It just takes me back. And that that Hexalite um, window on the outsole, it just reminds me of uh, one of the basketball sneakers I played in as a kid, uh, the Reebok Breakaways, and uh, those had the Hexalite cushioning, and man, a lot of great games and a lot of bad games in those sneakers, whatever the case may be, had a lot of fun, so many good memories with those Reebok Breakaway sneakers. Um, go on the internet and look for that breakaway. They, they've never retroed it. I don't think they have. I'm gonna post a picture so you could see uh, what uh, what Reebok, how that Reebok made me happy. This is really cool, man. So oddly satisfying, it makes me feel good. So let's go over the uppers, okay? There's reflective components on the sneaker, and I see two, all right? You got one here at the toe, and you have another one here at the heel, okay? So look at the Vector logo, look at the Vector design language. That's made of leather. I believe this is synthetic leather, okay? Red and blue. You have the blue pull tab here at the back, and uh, the red synthetic leather accent here at the heel. Okay, synthetic leather also at the toe and everywhere else is white mesh, okay? Over at the tongue, you have a leather patch here with a Vector logo. And on the inside, you have your classic Reebok Vector branding. That's a black insole right there with a white liner. The highlight is the logo and the Hexalite midsole for me at least because it just takes me back, man. Love it. Okay, guys, we are interrupting regular programming because it's October now, and uh, we wouldn't miss an opportunity to have a conversation with one of uh, uh, the greatest friends of the channel. Matagal ko nang tropa tong si Ray Ikatar, and uh, he's the Reebok guy from the PI. Ray, magpakilala ka sa off chance na hindi ka pakilala. Bigang ko to, guys. <laughs> Yes, this is Ray Qatar. I also have a YouTube channel. I usually do well sneaker related content, pero more on uh, Reebok. Sabi ko ano sa isa kong video, ang uh, content ko usually are those na um, bihira mong makikita sa ibang channel like Yeezys, Off White, Supreme, Jordans. Uh, yeah, like you. Ikaw, puro new balance, dire 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 new balance content mo. So parang ganon pero ako sa Reebok naman ako. <laughs> multi-brand people tayo eh. 
Bukas tayo sa, ano, bukas tayo sa lahat. Oh. Yeah, at dahil sinabi mong bukas ka, eh, sinisilip yung background mo. May mga Nike yata dyan, pari ah. Hindi, Nike. Wala, wala ka makikita. Ah, wala ka pa, okay. Wala, okay. Mali, na, 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 namalik mata lang. May Nike nasa likod, nasa likod ng camera. Eh. <laughs> strategic, <laughs> strategic decision. O, oh, yan. So, Bucktober, and we have the the Reebok guy with us here. And uh, what an honor, and thanks for agreeing to do with this. Shotgun approach. Tinanong ko lang, pare, zoom tayo, dali, Reebok. So, una-una, Bucktober, uh, what does this mean to you as a, a true Reebok fanatic? Um, well, basically, ngayon kasi, ang ano sa akin ng October, eh, more on uh, celebration talaga eh. Uh, ngayon, nandun na ako sa point of my of my uh, Reebok f- uh, fanatic life na I'm watching, ano ba, nasa, nasa sidelines ako. Tas, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching those people na posting every day, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, ano, ano ba ngayon? Uh, day 10 na or day 9, day 9. So, um, tahimik lang ako sa gilid and uh, for me, October is a celebration nga ng mga Reebok enthusiast. Doesn't necessarily mean na tuwing October lang active sa Reebok. Although, um, I'm sure meron dyan, meron dyan mga iba na hinihintay yung October para makapag-share ng mga Reebok pairs nila. Parang Halloween, di ba? Or sabi natin Christmas na lang. Parang Christmas, hindi naman ibig sabihin na magiging mabait kang tao pag Pasko lang. So, okay. buong tao ka naman dapat maging maging kind and uh, virtuous and uh, thoughtful. Pero for me, yun, uh, it, it's a chance for Reebok uh, enthusiasts to get together, especially sa social media pag sinush mo yung hashtag na Booktober. Hmm. Nabanggit mo Halloween. Uh, it falls on October kasi may Halloween release. Yes. Ang mga... Meron, meron. Nakita ko, mga kamikaze. They recently uh, signed kasi si Treze. Si Treze. Yes. Si Treze, uh, nakaabot ng uh, playoffs. So, nung pag-sign nila, uh, medyo nagkaroon ng direction na sige, magbalik tayo ng mga retro basketball. Yan. Yan ang mga gusto ko pag rinireto. Ang tuwa ko sa Interval 96, the sneaker that uh, I am reviewing in this uh, video. And uh, what I have is the red and blue with uh, over the white base. Mm, ang OG. linis lang. Yeah, ang linis lang tingnan. So, ma- matanong kita. Uh, alam ko mahirap sagutin ito. What is your favorite Reebok sneaker of all time? Bigyan mo ako ng model at specific colorway or release. Uh, yeah, let's get that specific. All time talaga. Ako, for, for me kasi, um, nagbabago-bago yan eh. Uh, yung, yung mga favorite-favorite natin. Gets ko yan. Uh, bigyan, ka ng, bigyan ka ng top 3 ko. Yung yeah. third ko siguro at the moment is yung sapatos na ni-review mo. Yung Interval, uh, Interval 96. Last year, I was able to to have a chance na magkaroon ako nung uh, first wave niyan, first wave of release. Mm-hmm. Yung first, first wave of, uh, of uh, batch na yun, limited to 1,996 pairs lang, walang half sizes, and uh, yung material, iba, na ginamit. Then, 1996 talaga nila, astig, astig. <laughs> yes, yes. Tapos siguro, um, second, second cause of uh, top 2, top 2 ko sa top 3 yeah. ko is ito. Love it. The Reebok Shock Attack ni Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Although I'm wearing, pakito ko lang sandali, I'm wearing something na ano eh. This is a Shock Moses shirt. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Shock Moses. Pabay na Shock Moses, mas gusto ko pa rin talaga ito eh. Kin- kinabahan ko. N- nung tumayo ka, nung sinabi mo, papakita ka, kinabahan ako. <laughs> then, t- t-shirt. Ano t- <laughs> t-shirt lang, t-shirt lang. Oh. Safe tayo dito. Uh, yo, and then, uh, yung top one, yung top one. one ko, as weird, as weird as it seems, parang uh, sa iba, parang, ba't yan top one? Muna ko ba? Ang dami mong ibang sapatos dyan. Pero top one ko is this regular pair of classics. Of right? Dumb. Ito Man. ang top one ko. Oh. Sabi ko nga eh, if given a chance, <clears throat> siguro in the future, Ganda. Um, gusto ko magkaroon ng ano, gusto ko mag, gusto ko magkaroon ng one month rotation ng puro white classics lang. Yan. Yan. Alam mo hindi ka fan ng white white shoes eh. Pero, <laughs> gusto ko magkaroon ng isang buwan puro puti. I'm a fan of the idea of uh, the classic white being a flagship sneaker. Nike. Yes. Sapatos ng Nike. Air Force One na puti. Adidas, Force One. Superstar, o Stan Smith na puti. O Reebok, 
Ano? Classic na at gampa ganda ng kombinasyon. Yeah, no judgment, di ba? Yan ang gusto mo eh. At yan ang classic and it speaks uh, a lot about uh, uh, your uh, personality. Uh, no frills, no nonsense, all business. Classic leather, white and gum. Pogi yes, pogi sir. Lang. Ayan. Ayan, so, oh, Ryan, hindi na kita, I won't keep you for long. Alam ko, busy-busy ka rin. Thank you so much, Rai. And to close siguro, Thank you, um, once again, um, invite mo yung mga subscribers natin and any message to uh, your viewers and my viewers. Just to close na lang siguro. Yun. Um, like I said earlier, I also have a YouTube channel. It's Rai Ikatar, basically my name. Check out my channel. Baka... Baka kahit na paano, eh, matuwa naman kayo. Salamat, Shen. Uh, yun nga, hindi pa ako nagsisimula ng channel. Magkakalala na tayo. So, salamat din sa... Uh, alam mo, ano yun eh? Uh, to, to be honest, uh, ins- inspiration kita. Siyempre, si Boss Carlo, mm. sila Nars, sila Glenn. Uh, yung mga nauna, lahat yung, lahat yung mga nauna, uh, respeto lahat sa inyo and nagpapasalamat ako for the inspiration. Sir Rai, uh, one of the hardest working... Uh, YouTubers and content creators and influencers and uh, Reebok is in good hands in the country with you as uh, the main pusher para sa akin so maraming salamat for your time everybody subscribe to the channel lalagay natin sa description follow him on Instagram as well Ryan my brother thank you see you the Reebok Interval 96 definitely has the 90s dad vibe to it they're a chunky sneaker but don't be deceived by the chunkiness because the sneakers are surprisingly very light. Okay, let's throw these on feet now.